Hello friends, uh, welcome back to NPTEL online certification course on soil and water conservation engineering. I am Rajendra Singh, professor in agriculture and food engineering department IIT Kharagpur. And we are in week number 4, lecture 16 and the topic today is introduction to terraces. So, terrace is the topic basically. Just to give an idea about the course content which we are going to handle in this week, week number 4. In lecture 16, we start today in, by introducing terrace. In lecture 17, we will talk about bench terraces that is their parameters, their design considerations, some of the principles that are used in designing ter bench terraces. And then lecture 18 will handle problems dealing with the design of bench terraces, various kinds of problems we will handle. In lecture 19, we will go for broad based terraces, another kind of terrace that, that is we will see the parameters, uh, design considerations, design principles. And then in lecture 20, we will solve problems dealing with broad based terraces. So, coming to terrace, terraces are an ancient erosion control practice that facilitate cultivation on steep slopes. So, important thing is that terraces are meant for steep slopes or for hilly areas. So, whenever you might have gone to any hill station and might have come across uh, with uh, step like structures on which cultivation takes place like seen here in this particular figure. So, step like structure where cultivation takes place that is nothing but terrace or uh, this is this type of farming is referred to as terrace cultivation or terrace farming. So, this is what terrace is. So, terraces are ancient erosion control practice that facilitate cultivation on steep slopes and it has been used by many cultures to allow the production of grains such as wheat and rice on steep slopes. So, this is very important that uh, it is a historic one in ancient that is it has been used since time memorial and it has been used by many cultures means all around the world actually by some name or the other but terraces are being adopted everywhere in the world and for producing uh, grains or staple crops such as wheat and rice on hilly terrains or steep slopes steep slopes so that's that's what terrace is all about a terrace system consists of a multiple continuous lines of earthen embankments constructed across a field slope to check erosion under the most intense cropping system planned for the field. So, some important points here that it is a, uh, a system consists of multiple continuous lines of earth embankments. So, there are a series of uh, terraces which are constructed across a field slope which is quite obvious as we have seen all erosion control measures are they are always adopted across the slope. Uh, because along the slope uh, the flow of water is more. So, that means the erosive capacity of the flow will more will be more and that is why we what we try to do is try to check the flow of water check to check the flow of water magnitude as well as velocity and for that what we do is that we break the entire slope length into different components and that is why we adopt all practices across the slope be it uh, burns be it terraces or any other uh, conservation measures and the biological measures also we saw agro agronomical and biological measures we saw that we adopt always uh, across the uh, slope. So, across the slope we adopt to check erosion under the most intense cropping system planned for the field. So, this is very important what it is trying to say is that uh, the a terrace field will always be, be used for cultivation. So, this, this goes bit of saying terraces are be are really built for cultivation and as we know that any cultivated field because you have tillage operations uh, like plowing, uh, harrowing or various kinds of tillage operations take place which keeps the soil in loose conditions and we as we saw in the introductory lectures that if the soil is loose then obviously with little bit of flow taking place that soil is is 
uh, will get transported easily. So, that means any cultivated field is prone to higher rate of erosion. So, that is why it says that a, a for most intense cropping system planned for the field, uh, the uh, earth embankments or the embankments are built to check erosion and checking the erosion as we have already mentioned because we are building embankments. So, what we are doing we are checking the flow of water uh, that is we are breaking the length of the slope, we are putting the entire slope into different compartments and then each compartment obviously the flow again we are checking through embankments. So, once we are checking the sheet flow obviously, once sheet flow is not there or overland flow is not there the question of transportation will not place and just to remind you once again the erosion process we always said that there is a detachment, there is a transportation and then there is a deposition these are the three major phases. So, detachment might be there loose soils might be there in this case because it is a cultivated field, but because because flow is not there, so they will not get transported. So, the transportation process we are checking and that is how we are checking soil erosion. So, that is very important. So, now uh, continuing again runoff water intercepted by the embankments is conducted to a stable outlet through non erosive stable channels or stored and released through soil infiltration. So, basically I mean in simple form you can see that there is a cut, there is a fill that uh, I mean the, this is also referred to as channel and ridge basically. So, uh, this is a kind of system we have. So, these are embankments and these are the channels. So, whatever water comes from the upstream side water will flow in between these two, these two whatever water will flow that will be arrested by this embankment here and then it will be taken away either taken away from the field at a safe velocity or non erosive velocity or it can also get stored. So, that uh, infiltration of the area could be enhanced. So, either of the possibilities are there and it reduce a terrace reduces the length of hillside slope thereby reducing seat and rill erosion and prevents formation of gullies which we have already seen that what we are doing here we are blocking uh, otherwise the slope length would have continued what we are doing is we are breaking in by by constructing this series of embankments we are breaking the slope length. So, slope length getting is getting reduced to this extent at the same time these embankments are there we are checking the flow. So, basically what we are doing is that we are not allowing flow to take place or overland flow to take place and that is why the seat erosion which is followed by real erosion is not there and once that is not there then formation of gullies will also not take place. So, that is how we are checking erosion. This is another form where by cutting and filling we are making a horizontal or, or various kinds of possibilities are there but benches which is referred to as bench terraces. So, we all these details we will see uh, in next lectures. Now, coming to objectives of terracing, there are three fold objectives. One is the land use, the second is soil conservation, the third is water conservation. And so, land use obviously uh, means that we want to facilitate farming on steep slopes, that is, on steep slopes or hilly areas, which otherwise cannot be cultivated. If we go for terracing, then the land can be used for cultivation which is the primary objective. Next objective is soil conservation and we have already seen that because the total area is being broken into I mean oh, we have seen that simple structure we saw that this is your channel and this is embankment. So, this is embankment, this is channel. So, we already saw that that uh, we are not allowing flow of water. So, we can also talk about the water conservation first. So, whatever decreases runoff. So, what we are doing that we are because we are blocking the uh, total flow path. So, obviously, whatever flow is generated within this area that gets uh, arrested here itself. So, that is why the total runoff that would have reached the outlet that is getting reduced. Then increases infiltration rate which is quite obvious because this water which is stored here in this channel or in this over this area that has lot more 
opportunity time for infiltration so the infiltration could easily take place from this area because water is standing there for longer period of time and because we are resting the flow of water we have already said that because we are resting the flow of water so obviously we are checking soil erosion and also we are maintaining fertility, fertility status because earlier we discussed that it is the top soil which is the most fertile soil. So, if you are al not allowing the ero erosion of the top fertile soil that means indirectly we are maintaining the fertil fertility status of the soil. Another important point is because this is getting cultivated. So, what we are doing we are putting nutrients fertilizers and because we are not allowing that to flow away. So, that again is used uh, by the crop itself or it is tended the soil uh, itself. So, that is why the fertility of the uh, area gets improved. So, these are the threefold objectives of uh, terracing. Functions again we already we have seen in objective but same thing to reduce the erosion by shortening the length of slope. So, we have already seen many times that how it shortens the total length. Conducting the runoff water on a non erosive grade to a stable slope. If that is the case, there could be possibility of storing the water there. If, if excess water is there, then we can take the water safely to at, at a non erosive grade to a stable slope. Uh, we have already seen that uh, the channel and rich kind of arrangement is also possible. Then to conserve moisture by increasing infiltration opportunity time, we have also seen that it is possible to I mean because water is allowed to stand for longer period of time. So, much uh, higher amount of time is available for water to infiltrate and facilitate cultivation and tillage operation on sloping lands that is the primary objective because uh, by by taking up terracing we are able to cultivate a hill, hill slope or sloping land which otherwise might not have been possible. And there are obviously certain limitations also then the limitations are they can be used in all soils except that this that means there are some soil types where they cannot be used. For example, if they are too stony sandy or shallow to permit practical and economical construction and maintenance and that is because due to earth moving because in this case we, we always saw that there is a cut and fill that is involved that means some kind of earth moving is involved. So, obviously, if it is too stony then and then earth moving will be a problem. So, there will be limitation of earth moving and of course, if it is sandy then stability will be issue and if soil is too shallow. So, then obviously, in during the process of earth moving it might so happen that uh, the unfertile soil could come on the top of the fertile soil and because of that there might be a det detrimental effect on the formability after disturbance of uh, these kinds of soils especially the shallow kinds of soils. And uh, also the terracing is not advisable if the slope of land is too slight or too excessive. Too excessive then obviously, it will be uh, the cost will be a factor because cost uh, the cost of construction and maintenance will be a big issue. And if it is too slight then because these are expensive these are expensive measures. So, obviously, there might be much, much uh, inexpensive measures available that might be more uh, viable for a uh, land with slight too slight a slope than to go for terracing. Then the where the topography is extremely irregular because in that if that is the topography is extremely irregular then it will become uneconomical because you know that then lot of earth moving activity has to take place and that also on extreme slopes. So, that means the cost will become too high and soil depth is not sufficient just we saw a little bit earlier also. So, earth moving during construction may place subsoil on top of the fertile top soil and affect productivity just now we also discussed this that uh, if soil depth is not sufficient then if once we go for earth moving then it might so happen that the subsoil which is not so fertile will come on the top fertile soil and then productive will be productivity will get affected. So, these are the limitations uh, we have to keep in mind while uh, adopting the um, terracing. Then coming to classification of terrace in India 
terraces are classified into two major groups that is broad based terraces and bench terraces the broad based terraces and bench terraces and broad based terraces are adopted where the main purpose is either to remove or to retain water on sloping lands that are suitable for cultivation so that means land that is suitable for cultivation but where the water is an issue either uh, too much water or too less water so the, either we want to or either we have a case where we, we have to conserve moisture in order to be productive or the case where there is a excess water and we have to dispose that off safely so uh, basically in those both these cases broad based terraces are adopted wherein bench terraces are mainly adopted to reduce the land slope so obviously that this distinction tells us that bench terraces are adopted mainly for much higher slopes as compared to broad based terraces so these are the two types of uh, terrace uh, classes we have now there is a much bigger picture of uh, classification also which is possible so for example if you look at this uh, classification the terrace as we have already seen that broadly it is classified as broad based terrace and bench terrace and if you look at the broad based terrace this can be further classified as graded terrace or level terrace and that is drainage channel type or absorption or ridge type which we we already saw that broad based terraces are adopted where the soil conservation or soil uh, sorry moisture conservation or moisture removal is a issue so graded if we have to take the uh, water away and level when we have to uh, conserve the water and the graded one can be further classified with proper channel or without proper channel so these are the complete classification for broad based channel on the other hand if you look at the bench terraces they are classified at four different types they can be of four different types that is leveled or table top sloping inward sloping outward or puto rican so these are the four types so broad based terraces are graded and level graded can be further as proper or or without proper channel wherein bench terraces are table top sloping inward sloping outward and puto rican so these are the complete classification of terrace system let us talk now about the broad based terraces so broad based terraces are defined as terraces for which all constructed and excavated slopes are flatter than 5 is to 1 and the entire terrace is cropped so this is very important that the, the slopes obviously in whenever we say we, we are going for terracing it all which involves cut and fill so we have to cut certain soil and then fill that soil so that this total slope can be reduced that's the main fundamental uh, for example here this is your original land grade and what we are doing here that we are cutting this soil and then filling this soil here so the same soil is being filled here and so that the land slope which was this that has been brought down to this level and so that the entire thing can be cultivated and uh, that is why we always go for flat slopes for more than 5 uh, is to 1 earth fill for the terrace ridge is normally obtained from excavation of the terrace channel so that is here so this is channel and ridge this is channel this is ridge so cut portion is channel and fill portion is ridge and adaptability is limited to smooth topography with land slopes of less than 8% so generally they are adopted for uh, much flatter uh, lands compared to bench terraces bench terraces which we'll see later later and where the land slope is less than 8% and broad based terraces are preferred due to ease of construction with a plow tractor blade or any earth moving equipment simply by moving the soil downhill to form a channel and a ridge so because the construction is very simple here you have to this is the soil so you have to adopt some earth moving uh, equipment so that soil could be cut from this portion 
and then that same can be filled here. So basically, um, uh, what we have to, what you need is simply some earth moving equipment, which could be a simply a plow or a tractor blade, which can simply help us in cutting the soil and then filling the soil here. So that's why, uh, because the construction is very simple, that is why these are preferred. And the flat slopes of this shape allow farm equipments to operate on the constructed ridge slopes, therefore allowing cropping of the entire fluid. So, because these slopes are kept very flat here, so because of that it is very easy for farm equipments to move on uh, the ridge slopes and therefore the entire field can be cropped. So, this, this, is, uh, this, is, uh, uh, this is because simpler, simpler construction and maintenance and that is why these are preferred. Now coming to graded or channel type terrace, these are constructed by cutting a shallow channel on the uphill side and using only this soil to build the embankment. So here you see the soil is cut here and filled here. So this is channel and this is the embankments. And it primarily removes excess water and minimizes erosion and that is by reducing the slope length and conducting the interceptor runoff to a safe outlet at a non erosive velocity. So, what is being done here, I mean, of course, the, the, you might be perturbed by seeing this simple construction, but what happens uh, is that if even if we see this picture here, uh, though we are seeing very slopes here, well defined slopes here, but what happens that after certain years of, uh, of uh, cultivation, they will also become like this. So, I mean, when we construct, obviously, the flats are very well defined, but later on, they also become some, something like this. So, if, if you see that picture, so do not get perturbed that uh, this is very simple construction, but this is also constructed uh, with a particular slope and all but later on the shape becomes like this. So, it is much simpler uh, 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 picturization of the channel graded or channel type terrace. So, here as you can see that we have a series of channels and ridges or embankments. So, what it happens is that total slope length which otherwise would have been continuous that is being broken here because here this particular one here to here if you consider this is acting as one particular catchment. So, whatever water falls here, uh, either water of whatever rainfall occurs or flow generated in whatever way, that will be confined to this particular area only and uh, that water will not be allowed to flow further. So, what is happening that the total slope length which was available for flow of water that is being broken. This is number one and then conducting the interceptor runoff to a safe outlet at a non erosive velocity. So, because whatever water is flown here, because there is a grade, natural grade. So, obviously, that will come here near this embankment and because we have this channel here and we, we perpendicular to board, we also provide a longitudinal slope. We provide a longi we provide a longitudinal slope to this channel in such a way that uh, the flow which is generated here in between these two areas that will be taken away that will be removed safely at a non erosive velocity. So, while designing the we use the Manning's equation and all and we know that uh, what are the non erosive velocities we have already discussed that many a time. So, with that, that into that is kept into mind. The, the side slope of both the channel and the ridge kept as flat as possible to fa facilitate the farming operation. So, obviously, these, these are kept as flat as possible, so that farming operation could take place. So, these, these flat slopes are there and bench terrace we have anyway seen that it is flatter than 5 is to 1 that is that is the first statement we saw and since 
construction and maintenance of a satisfactory channel is required, this should not be built on deep sands or on soils that are too stony, steep or shallow to permit adequate construction. So, because the entire concept is that you store the water and then take that safely out. So, obviously, the channel is very important component here. So, that is why the conditions that where it has to be built that will be taken into considerations. Then next is a level or reach type of terrace. This is primarily used for moisture conservation that is the other type the uh, graded type or uh, channel type which is taking away the water away, but it is for moisture conservation and it is preferred in low to moderate rainfall regions uh, for trapping and holding rainfall for infiltration into the soil profile. So, water is hold and so that it can infiltrate and they can be used even in high rainfall areas if the soil is permeable because infiltration is the key. So, if the soil is permeable or the infiltration capacity is high then they can be erupted even in high rainfall areas and embankment is constructed of soil taken from both sides of the reef. So, as you can see here uh, the uh, much uh, larger embankment is available here because soil is being taken from either side so that more of water can be conserved. So, the purpose totally is different of the two types. In one case we want to take the water away safely, in this case we want water to stand here so that it gets uh, uh, infiltrated. Then next category is uh, bench terrace and uh, bench terracing consists of construction of series of platforms along contours cut into hill slope in a steep like step like formation. So, step like formation is very important. So, here as you can see that there is a one step, next step and so on. So, the step like formation is there and that is referred to as bench tracing. So, whenever platforms are built uh, such that they look like steps, uh, they are referred to as bench tracing. And platforms are separated at a regular interval by vertical drops or by steep sides and protected by vegetation and sometimes by stones or uh, stones uh, by stones retaining. So, this this is what we are talking about this. So, this uh, this 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 is refer basically referred to as riser which we will see little later. So, these vertical drops they can be completely vertical or they can be slopy and just to in order to protect uh, them there should be some kind of uh, uh, vegetation should be grown over these so that they remain protected and as you can see that this port portion is being used for cultivation. So, here also cutting and filling is taking place the horizontal platform is being used for cultivation and these vertical portion is recommended that some grass or some plantation should be there so that it is protected from erosion. The bench terraces convert a steep slope of 20 to 30 percent to a series of level or nearly level benches. So, important thing is there the we saw broad based terraces they are recommended slope was 8 percent wherein bench terraces are adopted for 20 to 30 percent and of course, they, they, they convert a steep slope into series of uh, benches or level platforms and of course, they are costly to construct. So, here this is the original slope and there we are cutting and filling and already I mentioned that this vertical thing which could be completely vertical or at a slope that is referred to as riser which may be vertical or inclined if inclined half is to one or one to one slope is common. And at the end of these platforms or terraces a shoulder bund is provided to check the flow of water. So, the otherwise if water flows and falls suddenly then obviously it might cause erosion here. So, that is why uh, these shoulder bunds are also provided and uh, these benches are either level or nearly level may be sloping inward or sloping outward there are so different types of uh, uh, benches are possible here this is a typical sketch. The bench terraces are classified uh, as absorption or level or table top terraces outward sloping traces or inward sloping traces. So, these three types of bench traces are quite com, com popular. So, absorption or level or table, table top traces that simply means 
that this plate form is completely horizontal that is completely flat. So, they are constructed exactly on the contours and provided with sufficient freeboard so that they can trap all the rain that falls. So, shoulder burn we are talking about and these are suitable for areas having evenly distributed medium rainfall and having deep and highly permeable soil. So, because we are storing water most of the water here that is falling. So, obviously, it is important that infiltration capacity of the soil should be higher. Then we have outward sloping terrace. So, that means you can see here this is a sl slope is in this direction, this is slope direction and sloping outward are effective in low rainfall areas with a permeable soil of medium depth. Lower ends graded channel are provided for safe disposal of runoff that means here we provide a channel so that water can be taken away. Solar bond is essential because slope is there the flow of velocity will be higher so it might cause erosion if solar bond is not provided and it is useful for slope up to 15 percent and it is mostly used for orchard cultivation. So, outward sloping type of uh, bench terrace and then the third category is inward sloping terraces and so in this case you see the slope is in this direction they are preferred in heavy rainfall areas and a suitable drain at inward end of each of these terraces to be also here there is a suitable drain provided perpendicular to the board and these prevent ponding of water and are useful for crops that are susceptible to water logging. So, any crop which we grow which is susceptible to water logging then we provide this inward type of slope so that excess water can be taken off easily. So, with this we have seen we have introduced terraces we have seen that terraces uh, are preferred in hilly areas for cultivation. We have seen that broadly they can be classified as bench terraces and uh, uh, broad based terraces. We also saw the classification further classification broad based terraces are channel type or ridge type and uh, the bench terraces could be just level or table top or inward sloping or outward sloping and we will see how to design them in next lectures. Thank you very much.